In Ukraine, I met with President Zelensky today. I had a good meeting. We had a great news conference afterwards. She met with him, I guess, yesterday. She didn't have a news conference because she can't do a news conference. She can't answer any questions. She's never going to make a settlement, believe me. And I will end the chaos in the Middle East, and I will prevent World War III, something I can do that nobody else is going to be able to do. I know them all. We will rebuild our cities, including Washington, D.C., making them safe, clean, and beautiful again. We will keep the U.S. dollar as the world's reserve currency. And right now, with these really stupid people we have running our government, it is under tremendous threat from losing its status as the world's reserve currency. If that happens, that's like losing a war. In many ways, it's worse. This is how we will end the era of inflation, mayhem, misery under Kamala and Crooked Joe and unleash safety, prosperity, and peace for Americans of every race, religion, color, and creed. We're going to do it, and we're going to do it fast. You're going to have businesses flowing back to Michigan. Together, we will deliver low taxes, low regulations, low energy costs, low interest rates, and low inflation so that everyone can afford the basics. It's called a car, groceries, and a home. Right now, you can't buy groceries. You can't buy anything. They're up so much, 50, 60, 70, 80 percent. We will stop the invasion, end migrant crime, support our police, strengthen our military. And I already rebuilt the military. They gave about uh, 85 billion to Afghanistan, right? How about that one? In addition to losing 13 beautiful soldiers whose families I got to know and love and respect. And we left a lot of people behind. And you know, very importantly, we gave up a big Air Force base that cost us billions of dollars named Bagram, billions of dollars, one hour away, forget Afghanistan, one hour away from where China builds its nuclear weapons. And we gave that up. These stupid people gave that up. You know who's occupying it now? China is occupying that base. Can you believe it? We're going to build a missile defense shield, much of it built in Michigan. We're going to keep critical race theory and transgender insanity out of our schools. And no men in women's sports again. We will defend the Second Amendment, restore free speech, and we will secure our elections. We are going to make our elections safe and secure. Everyone will prosper. Every family will thrive, and every day will be filled with opportunity and hope. 